Baltimore meteorologist Shay Sorensen, who is spelling out our forecast. I see it says breezy behind you. I see what you did there. Look at you being <laughs> clever on this Monday. <laughs> yeah, uh, we do have a breezy to windy day up ahead, all thanks to this area of low pressure off the coast of California. Unfortunately, the system isn't bringing a whole lot of moisture with it, and we're not expecting that uh, valley rain or mountain snow until tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, today, it's really just going to be breezy to windy. That's going to be the biggest impact for your Monday. Gusty wind with this system. We're also expecting some light rain, light snow, and some colder temperatures as well. So windy today with gusts up to 35 miles per hour, especially to the south and east of Tucson. That includes Santa Cruz and Cochise County, where we could potentially see some blowing dust. Just make sure you also have a good grip on the wheel. And then isolated showers will roll in Tuesday and Wednesday. So biggest impacts, blowing dust. We could see some slick roads with that rain and snow. Road closures potentially for the mountains. And of course, protect those four Ps. Overnight lows are going to get a little bit colder before we warm back up as we head towards this upcoming weekend. Wind meter today. Gusts are going to be sitting between about 20 and 30 miles per hour for most, but we could see gusts as high as 35 miles per hour in Santa Cruz and in Cochise County. So breezy to windy today to potentially very windy. So be sure to secure loose objects just in case. Again, have a good grip on the wheel and also beware of that blowing dust uh, to the south and east. On to the future cast. This is a look at 4 p.m. this afternoon. Most of us just dealing with sunshine, but areas to the west, the far west, could see some off and on showers as early as this afternoon and overnight tonight. By 7 a.m. in the morning, most of the rainfall is still well to the uh, west of Tucson, so we're waking up dry. Temperatures potentially pretty mild in the 30s and 40s, but that rainfall will slowly make its way eastward throughout the afternoon, and by 3 p.m. we'll be dealing with some off and on showers here in Santa Cruz and in eastern Pima County, Pinal County, staying a little bit more on the dry side to the east, but eventually those showers will make their way towards you, especially by Wednesday morning. So you're going to have to wait a little while longer to see the rain in Cochise, Graham, and Greenlee County. Same thing for the mountain snow uh, for the mountains to to the east of Tucson. Uh, for the forecast rainfall, this is through Wednesday at 11 p.m. We're expecting trace amounts to a tenth of an inch for most of us. Higher totals are expected farther to the west, though, where we'll be seeing a little bit more moisture. So places like Ajo could see over a quarter of an inch, Casa Grande potentially over a half inch of rainfall. So a little bit lighter for the rest of us, but at least we could all see a little bit of a bite of some light rain. And then above 6,000 feet for our mountains, we could see a dusting to two inches. The snow level could drop down to as low as 4,000 feet, but we're not expecting any accumulation, just some flurries at best, and that's for Tuesday and Wednesday. Looking ahead, temperatures will fall into the upper 50s for your Tuesday. Overnight lows a little bit above freezing, but still cold enough that you need to protect those four Ps. We dry things out the second half of the week, and temps just keep climbing, and by Sunday, we're pushing into the mid-70s, so really nice-looking weekend. All right, let's get you up.